Hi, this is Verla Harrell again. I want to share with you a little bit of different than what I have been because I want you to know all of the different things that you can do with painting your watercolor. So many different things you can paint your watercolor on. Now, I like the Terra skin. It's my favorite, but some people love just painting on their water color paper and I do like arches but I have to tell you you'll see this painting this is kind of interesting because I had to try something different and so I got some Georgette fabric from the um, fabric store now that's the kind of real thin stuff that you'd use like on the overlay on a wedding dress or something and I stretched it on this well first of all I laid it down and tried to paint on it and it didn't work at all. So I stretched it on here and then because there was nothing behind it, you could get the paint on it. And this is the thing that it came up from. Now I had to do several coats, uh, very, 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 very lightly, not too much water. And so it took, took several coats to get that, but I think it turned out pretty nice. I like it. It's kind of been a favorite. Now I want to tell you there, <laughs> I usually use 140 pound uh, cold press watercolor paper. Now, so that's what this is. Now this is Bristol board. Now it's no more than a board. Why they call it Bristol board, I do not know. But it's good if you're doing something you wanna just do a quick sketch on. Like if you're doing your pre-sketch before you're wanting to paint, this is real good to do on. And you can use your watercolor paper on it too, but it's not something you're gonna to wanna to put a permanent painting on. Well, now this is 300 pound watercolor paper and I have done things on it. The, the reason I don't like to use it a lot is because it soaks up the paint so much and it, it just doesn't move the same. But the advantage of this is it will not buckle as much. Now, when I have taken my 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm going to do a painting, then I wet it really good on both sides till it is soaking wet, sloppy, sloppy, with kind of a medium warm water. And then I staple it all the way around and put it on either this kind of gator board or this. I haven't been able to find anybody that's making this anymore. This one I liked better. It was thinner, it's lighter, easier weight to handle. But one of the things that's really good to do when you're, and then this is a the gator board that they're doing now. But whenever you do these, after you've painted, it's important that you lay them flat. Because if you don't lay them flat, they'll kind of curve on you. And then they're terrible to paint on when you're going back to paint later. Now see, that's the thing with the Terra skin that I showed you earlier, you don't have to staple it. You can just tape it on. And now this is watercolor canvas. And this I painted all this background part and then this I was doing as a demo while I talked. And so this was done with all fresh paint. Now, if I was gonna keep this just like it is, cause I have one in my gallery that I have sprayed four times, very, very lightly, letting them dry 40 to 45 minutes in between each coat. And then you don't have to put glass on it. But this one is kind of just an example. And I could come back in here and because this is watercolor canvas, I could change this. This was done with all fresh paint. This was done with my, just from my palette. But this was all from my two paints, gobs of paint. So that's why it's so brilliant. But it is an interesting thing that you can do on watercolor canvas. And you can buy these in different sizes. Now, I want to show you. This is a, a real good one. Like if you're going to travel in the car, this is just a little thing that you can put in your, in your lap and have your paints in your cup and your water in your cup holder and a way you can paint while you're traveling. Then you can get these in all different colors and these are awesome. Then here, here's the little tiny one. Here's a little tiny one. And when you get done with this, well, I'm working on this. I've got to, I'm just, I've done this little by little, mainly because I've been showing you things. I've just put these little trees in, but when this is all done and you've waited 24 hours, that's true with your, Stuff that you've stapled on, wait 24 hours before you take it off. It needs to be totally dry. And then there's a little place here, right here, where you can put your finger and just barely, barely 
move it and you can pull this away and then you can take it off and you've got another one. So this is a good one to travel with too. But this comes in all different sizes and it's it's good to, to paint on. Now, when um, it's a heavier thing, but you can have them in different sizes. Oh, and then I love to do plain air. I love to do plain air. And so this I did out in the country at a person's place and this was their yard and the mountains were so pretty and the clouds in the background the thing about the watercolor this is watercolor board and this is by Strathmore and um, a lot of places don't carry this watercolor board but don't try illustration board it's just not the same as watercolor board so um, the watercolor board is best to paint on and the thing about doing this when you're out and the wind's blowing or something, this is so much easier to handle. And um, and you can paint with this thing sitting up like this because it's not like Terra Skin, it's not gonna run. And there you can work over here a little bit and then when that has lightened up too much, you can work over here and then come back and darken it up. This is awesome. And the reason I have two of them here, well, I thought I wanna be prepared. I may wanna paint something else uh, just flowers up here from her garden. So I fixed it so I could paint both things. Well, it ended up, I ended up spending my time just painting on that. Now I want to show you how you can get watercolor canvas. You can get watercolor canvas in tablets of different sizes like this, and then you can just cut them and do little pieces or big pieces, whatever you want to do. So watercolor canvas comes either in the, the stretched canvas like this, or you can get it in this. It's a little bit more of a challenge to work on than it is on your watercolor paper. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you.